In this video, we are going to talk about produce. What is produce? So first, we have the verb produce. To produce something means to make something new. But produce is the noun that means things that are grown on a farm. So usually that means fruits and vegetables. If you go to the supermarket, the produce section is the section of the supermarket that has fruits and vegetables. So today, we are going to talk about some different types of produce that I just bought at the market. First up, bell peppers. You can call these bell peppers, or some people call them sweet peppers. Or you can just call them red peppers. Or you can call them red bell peppers. So I have two red bell peppers. And I have two green bell peppers. So I have four bell peppers. Two are green peppers, two are red peppers. Then I have this. This is called ginger. Ginger is a root. A root is something that grows under the ground. So if it's under the ground, it's called a root. So this is ginger. Ginger is a root. Trees also have roots. The tree is the plant above the ground. The part under the ground that absorbs the water so the tree can grow is called the root. Ginger is also a root. And potatoes are a root vegetable. I don't know what type of potato this is, but it's a potato, and potato is a root vegetable. That means it's a vegetable that grows under the ground. Then I have two types of tomatoes. I'm not 100% sure what types of tomatoes they are, but this one to me looks like a plum tomato. A plum tomato is a small tomato that's about the same size as a plum, if you know what a plum is. Plum, the type of fruit. So these are plum tomatoes. Then I have these. These tomatoes are more round, like a circle. Um, they look like beefsteak tomatoes but I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, the round, big type of tomatoes are usually beefsteak tomatoes. These might be beefsteak tomatoes. Okay, that's everything here. Again, bell peppers, ginger, potatoes, and two types of tomatoes. Then here, I have garlic. This whole big thing of garlic is called a head. So this is one head of garlic. Inside the head, we have about 10 cloves. So this is one head of garlic. It contains approximately 10 cloves of garlic inside of it. So most recipes say two cloves of garlic three cloves of garlic. So that does not mean three of these. That means two or three of the small pieces inside. Then we have this. This is an onion. Specifically, it is a red onion. I know that it's not really red. It's actually purple, but we don't call it a purple onion. We call it a red onion. And here I have this. This is a lemon. Lemon is a type of citrus fruit. Citrus is um, a fruit such as lemons, limes, and grapefruit. So this is a lemon. Lemons are yellow. Limes are green. Here, I have broccoli. Not broccoli, broccoli, it's broccoli. Broccoli. And this is a head of broccoli. Similar to a head of garlic, you can have a head of broccoli. 
And broccoli has three parts. This big part right here, this is called the stem. Then the smaller parts, these parts in the middle, these are called the stalk. And then this top part is called florets. So you have broccoli florets, broccoli stalk, and broccoli stem. The stalk connects the stem to the florets. So the florets are like the hands, the hands of the broccoli. The stalk is like the arm of the broccoli, and the stem is like the body of the broccoli. So that the arm connects the hand to the body, but the hand is the florets, the stem is the body. Okay, then I have this. This is called cauliflower. And similar to broccoli, we also have a head. So this is a head of cauliflower. And finally, we have this. This is a type of lettuce called romaine lettuce. In England and Australia, I believe it is called cos lettuce. But in America, we call it romaine lettuce. I like to use this in salads. Okay, so this is my produce that I bought at the market today. Produce means fruits and vegetables.